Hi everyone, welcome to another video on The Long Dark. Today I'm going to be continuing my journey following the storyline Signal Void, which is part two of the Tales of the Far Territory DLC. In my previous video I found the shortwave radio, which is found in Forsaken Airfield in the control tower, and now I'm continuing with the mission objectives that were triggered by doing so. The first objectives are to fix three more of the transmitter towers in different regions. The first one I am doing is in uh, Forlorn Muskeg, excuse my pronunciation of the, the region, <laughs> but coming back from Forsaken Airfield, it's the first region where that makes sense to me <laughs> to fix the transmitter. So here I am going to the location and I will show you where the location is. And of course you're gonna need the items as you do for the first tower, which are a car battery, wires, uh, fuses, and scrap metal. So cool. Luckily at this uh, transmitter tower, there's actually a battery in a storage box or a storage bin right next to this big shortwave tower. So it's pretty lucky since you don't have to then drag around a car battery from somewhere far away. Once you've fixed up the transmitter, don't forget to switch it on, of course. And after that, you'll be see that you have to inve investigate another signal. And for this particular transmitter, it will tell you to investigate the signal in Bleak Inlet. Luckily, the entrance to connect to the Bleak Inlet region is not too far away from where this transmitter is, so that's what I did next. I went to Bleak Inlet region, and as soon as I got there, I was able to follow the signal and find Bunker Alpha. I'm just showing here on the map that the cave system which takes you to Bleak Inlet is not too far from the shortwave tower where the transmitter is. For me, this bunker wasn't very far from where I came into the Bleak Inlet region as either, to be honest. I was surprised it was actually quite nearby where I had come into the region, and so it was pretty easy to find. And, well, I'm not sure, I'm assuming they're all going to be always in the same place. I'm not 100% sure about that, but this is, I'm going to show you the location of where I found it for my game. In just a sec I'm going to show you the map, however it may be a bit unhelpful because I haven't actually explored this region yet in this survival game uh, save that I'm doing right now, so not much is uncovered as you can see. But as I said before, it is pretty close to where you come out if you have connected from the forlorn Moscow region. In each of the bunkers you're going to find of, of course a variety of loot, but also you have to read the security chief's report and one of the patient's interview. So these are two documents that you will find in the bunker and you need to read both of these to be able to continue with the mission objectives. In this bunker I also found two new food items, one of which is a can of corn and the other which is a kind of can of ham. Session 5, Project Medical Officer interviewing Patient 7. Let's visit the second instance again. First occurrence. What do you remember? Uh, the sun was out, but it was cold at the river's edge. There was a group of us that day. <laughs> Lots of laughing, yelling. Some were in our heads. <laughs> no one was getting in the water. I guess I liked being first. I didn't even jump, just slipped in quietly away from everybody. Uh, the water was clear, but bitter cold. I thought the bottom was closer. My head went under right away. God, I was a lousy swimmer. Uh, no one noticed me struggling in the deep pool. Carry on from where you were last session. Find the ending sequence. What do you see? Oh, uh, my hand reaching for a flat gray stone at the water's edge. I, I grabbed it, I pulled my head out of the freezing water. <sighs> a breath. <laughs> the sun shining through the trees. Above us was... Was the sun out? I thought... 
the rain. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know. That, 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 that wasn't it. Keep hold of that image. It's okay if it fades a little. Breathe. Try going again. Second instance. The mine is a real shithole. If my job is to shepherd the men, then their job is to keep the roof from landing on all of us. But this week we found a decent chamber to start building Rudiger's gadget. Teams one and two are with the program, but on shaky ground. Team three is getting volatile again. And while it's unclear what they have planned, I've called for additional security to fly in immediately. The medical officer has been conducting alignment interviews and has made some troubling observations. I'm still considering the implications, both for the men as well as project viability. My hope is that the crew can keep their shit together long enough to finish phase one and we can get out of this godforsaken place. It's starting to get to me. Once I had done this, I went back to the Forlan Muskeg region, as this, as there is a connection to Mountain Town from this region, and there's another transmitter there. So I decided that's just the route I'm going to take. So stay tuned for my next video where I go to find Bunker Gamma. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.